Hey everyone, I have a new video for you. This one is using the Glitter Girl collection by Chamel. And I'm gonna do a little flip through of my little project pad here. In case you haven't seen it yet, this is what it looks like. It has cardstock, pattern papers, glitter papers, and um, an alphabet sticker sheet, and then a, a regular sticker sheet. I thought it was a great deal because this whole pad was like twenty dollars, and the stickers, the sticker, the first sticker sheet that you saw there with the different shapes. That one is has pretty much um, all the stickers of the um, the six by twelve sticker sheet that you can buy. Uh, some of them are different colors, so even if you get them both, you're still getting um, more um, different stickers. So, not many of them are doubled. And I thought it was a great buy because the stickers themselves are like $5. So, it, it was worth it for me. So, here are the things that I think I'm going to use for this layout. And I've printed some pictures on my little Polaroid SnapTouch camera. I use that as a little mini printer. And I haven't decided if I'm going to... If I'm going to use the pictures like horizontally or vertically. So I just printed them both ways. And then the ones that I don't use. I'm just going to give it to my daughter because she likes to. She says she likes to scrapbook with me. But she really just kind of colors and puts stickers on the paper. So I'm going to give her some of these pictures and see what she does with them. I'm also just having a look at the other things in the collection. Like the sticker sheet. And uh, um looking for anything unicorn related <laughs> because I um, crocheted a unicorn for my daughter and um, that was like one thing she has a bunch of stuffed animals you know but a lot of them are bears and bunnies and all kinds of things but she didn't have a unicorn so um, instead of buying one for her I thought it would be better if I made it for her so I crocheted one, uh, and this is how I print my photos in my little snap touch camera. And she uses it a lot. Like I, I love it that she loves it. Um, she sleeps with it. She takes it places. Um, so I had two photos: one of the unicorn, one of her with the unicorn in the car, and. Um, our dog was along for that ride too. <laughs> and um, I got one of her sleeping with it. So I thought I would do it in this like photo strip. And I'm going to test it by arranging the um, embellishments the way I kind of see them. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do with this layout. So this is kind of what it looks like in my head. And um, I'm going to try it just, just to check if I like the uh, horizontal photos better. So, um, yeah, this is not going to work the way I thought, the way I see it in my head. So I'm just going to go with the photo strip one. And just in case you're wondering, no, I did not crochet a unicorn just so I could have an excuse to use my unicorn scrapbooking things okay <laughs> I really did it because she really didn't have one and she does like them so um, it just happened to work out <laughs> that uh, there's a bunch of unicorn stuff um, in a lot of collections and um, this glitter girl one has a lot of them so that was just a happy coincidence and um, so I'm putting it here on a white uh, background just so it looks more like a photo strip and I'm going to start working with it I'm going to use some solid cardstock just because it was in the paper pad and all the colors match perfectly. Um, I'm less likely to use cardstock if I have to go and look through all my stacks to find a matching color. So um, I think it's handy to have it included in the project pad. I've heard from people in my scrapbooking groups that they are not um, loving the Glitter Girl collection. And... Um, a lot of us love it, and some of us don't like it. Um, where do you stand on it? Do you like it? Do you like the Glitter Girl collection or or not? 
Um, I love the colors. I love the um, theme of it. And um, I feel like there's like there's a big variety of stuff here. There's a, a whole thing crafty motif and creating being creative and stuff and there's that little magical unicorn motif and then there's little you know everyday things like birds and and stars and um hexagons so and flowers so i think it is really versatile and you could use it for documenting a, a big variety of things I'm going to do my basic layout here and then you're going to see that um, I, I'm i going to fade into a layout that is more complete because um, I had this layout on my desk and then Shimel was just, uh, hap just happened to be doing a Facebook Live and so I was um, watching her Facebook Live and scrapping along with her and... Um, I this was what I was working on so <laughs> I worked on it off camera because I film on my iPad and I was watching her on my iPad as well so I couldn't film what I was doing but you know um, I think it worked out well because it kind of shows you like the my really like basic layout that I made and then if you're just starting out scrapbooking this you can really take this and then put whatever finishing touches you like. But here I'm gonna tuck in this cloud and I'm gonna put like a a little sky up there with the clouds and the rainbow. And uh, that's kind of what I, I pictured in my head when I was when I started working on this layout. And I'm just going to leave like a little bit of space up here so I can tuck something else in right here. And I just really love the holographic um, look of the stickers. It, it, it's so pretty and it goes um, so great with the unicorns. So this collection has um, these lenticular sticker. Um, well, I guess they are, they're not stickers, they're not adhesive backed. And if I'm wrong and then they're adhesive backed, please let me know. But uh, they are um, lenticular pieces, like this little unicorn. The hair changes from um, blue and pink to like red and yellow or something. So I was thinking they are included in the ephemera pack and I was thinking that it was going to be very challenging to use them. Um, I wasn't sure where um, in my layout they would fit but it turns out I've already used a couple of them so it's not as challenging as I thought and it actually adds you know, a little something. Um, these little washi tape stickers are really cool because they're kind of like a matte finish and some of them have that holographic um, finish to them too so they're matte and then with the little holographic um, bits so they they have they bring a lot of interest and uh, this one just gave me a lot of trouble I, I had a hard time put um, tucking in between my photos and the background paper so I'm gonna put the unicorn up there flying in the sky and this little tab that says dream big girl and um, when I go off camera in a minute and come back with a more finished layout I have also sewn on it and I'm really trying to tuck in this little create pen because uh, to me you know uh, creativity is creativity whether you knit or crochet or scrapbook or make cards or whatever you do as long as you're being creative, um, it counts. So <laughs> I'm adding, I wanted to add that pen, but it's not going to work out. And so I'm tucking this Think Crafty little label up here. Um, so I was going to say that I will have also sewn on this page uh, when I come back. 
Um, I finally set it up so that my sewing machine and my typewriter are both um, usable at the same time because before I had to take one off um, a little desk and put the other one on and so I, my sewing machine was just not getting used. So um, I finally set it up. It's not as pretty but it works. So I'm putting in this little hello right here and this little speech bubble is where I'm going to do my journaling. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm just putting these right here. I like the hello with the little, with the little eyes that are closed and looking down. It, it, I don't know. I think it goes well with that picture of my daughter sleeping. So right there, that in, on that empty space between the speech bubble and the photos, I'm gonna tuck another, um, a little piece of uh, paper, a little border strip that has those same little stars that I have on the right, and I think that. It just makes it look so much better, so much more defined. And I'm gonna scatter these little stars around here. And here's what I was talking about where I'm going to go and then come back with a layout that's um, a lot more finished. So this is a very basic layout. So if you're starting out, you know this might be a good way to start with a little photo strip, a cluster on the top right, and a, that kind of moves your eye all the way to the bottom left. So here I've come back and I've sewn uh, some borders on my layout. I've sewn on that little hello thing. I've added more of the little star border on the left. Um, and I'm adding this um, little happiness. So now it says hello happiness. I've done my journaling. I've doodled some hearts. Um, and stay tuned um, after the video's over. Uh, I have some close-ups of all the little details. So here I'm just scattering some more little stars. Um, that's why I love having so many of the sticker sheets. The sticker sheet in the paper pad and then the 6x12 stickers. There's tons of these little stars that you can scatter everywhere. And uh, yep, that's that's pretty much my layout. Um, let me know what you think of the Glitter Girl collection. Um, I'd be happy to hear um, more about what you guys think of it and why why you either like it or don't like it. And stay tuned for close-ups coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!